Well, praise the Lord and good evening and welcome to the Encouraging Word broadcast. And tonight uh, we're going to be coming from uh, the book of Psalms, from Psalm 141, and we're going to take a look at verses uh, 3 and 4. But before we do that, let's go to the Lord in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you and praise you for the opportunity we have tonight to get into your word. And we do thank you for your word, Lord. We just ask that you would bless it and uh, help us tonight to learn more about you. We just pray and that you would just strengthen those that are listening tonight and help them in their walk with you. And we just pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, tonight, uh, Psalm 141, verses 3 and 4. I'm going to take a special attention to that. And it says, Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil thing to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity, and let me not eat of their dainties. You know, this is such a great uh, prayer here to have, is, you know, asking God, you know, set a watch before my mouth, you know, keep the door of my lips. We, to, to guard our, the words that we speak and the things that we say, is so very important. But not only that, in, in, you know, looking at it even more, we have to guard our thoughts, you know, our very thoughts. So, you know, this is why in the New Testament it talks about, you know, um, pulling down, you know, those high things, everything that exalts itself against, you know, the word of God, against the knowledge of God. We're, we're to pull those things down, every every thought, every imagination, bring them to subjection, you know, to Christ. And, uh, you know, the same way our our tongue, our is, the Bible says, uh, it tells us that it's, uh, you know, and it's unruly, you know, and it's uh, fully of deadly poison, and we bless God with it, and we curse men, and we shouldn't be that way. So we have to be consistent in everything that we do and everything we say. We need to praise the Lord and 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 thank Him and uh, build people up and and give them the truth of the Word of God and help them to to walk with Christ. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. You know, making sure that we speak only good things, only right things, only things that um, pertain to the Word of God that will strengthen and encourage and lift people up. Too many times, uh, people, you know, get themselves in places where, especially when things are are difficult in the world, they get themselves into places of of complaining and murmuring. And God doesn't want that for us. And we shouldn't go that way. We should keep our mouths and our lips controlled and make sure that we're not speaking things that uh, bring disrepute on God, but things that are right and good and uh, pleasant in His sight. It also says, Incline not my heart to any evil thing, to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity. You know, keep my heart, Lord. Out of the abundance of the heart, Right, the mouth speaks, and out, out of and out of our hearts too are you know the the issues of life are, and so we have to make sure that our heart it stays right before the Lord. That means repentance is needed sometimes. Amen. And, and so don't be slow to repent. Be quick to repent before the Lord if there's something in your life that's not right before Him. Incline not my heart to any evil thing. Asking God, Lord, please keep me from any of those the evil you know desires for anything that's not like You. I just want to be like You. I want to be you know. I want to walk like Jesus walked. I want to do the things that He did. You know, in our lives, having a disciplined life. Because what did He do? He he didn't come to do his own will. He came to do the will of the Father. We're not here to please ourselves. We're here to please God. So we need to do the things in our lives for God. Uh, the way that we live our lives, so we conduct ourselves, the way we treat people, we should always keep in mind that we are here to please the Lord. And so we're not living for ourselves. We're living for him. And in everything that we do, we bring our bodies, our minds, our thoughts, our words into subjection to the word of God. And if we do that, um, praise the Lord. We're doing the right thing there. So it's a prayer, and it's a great prayer here. And uh, again, it says, uh, let me not eat of their dainties. Of the, you know, the dainties of the wicked are sin, and they will destroy you. So don't go after those things. Don't go after the fruit of, of iniquity, the fruit of, of sin. Stay with the fruits of righteousness, holiness, goodness, you know, mercy, peace. You know, you, you do those things that are pleasing in the sight of the Lord. Truly, our lives are short, and the days are short, and uh, and we got to live for the Lord. Amen? Well, God bless you guys. I uh, love you. I pray that you are encouraged tonight, tomorrow night, encouraging word at uh, 6 o'clock, Lord willing. And I pray that you live this day, throughout this whole day, with the understanding and knowing that soon and very soon we're going to see the King. So our lives should reflect that. God bless you. Have a blessed night in Jesus. Good night.